What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Nintendo Land and today I have more information and updates regarding Nintendo Switch Sports, the Nintendo Wii Sports successor. So this game is pretty much the new version of Wii Sports and there's a lot of stuff to unpack here from games returning from old and even brand new style of games as well and games that could be coming later on down the road. And there's tons of information that the Nintendo Direct didn't even tell us within the show. So make sure you guys like the video and subscribe to stay up to date on all things Nintendo Nintendo Sports and Nintendo in general, and let's get on to the details that you might have missed. Well, the first thing that we know is these new characters are on a completely new island and not Woohoo Island, the one we come to love and know from Wii Sports Resort. This one is called Spaco Square. Unlike Woohoo Island, which was actually like a full-fledged island that was more tropical and resort-like, this one is more of a modern city, almost resembling Manhattan, New York. And we can see each of the areas for all six of the sports. We have the volleyball courts, badminton courts, bowling alley, soccer field, Chambara Stadium, and tennis courts as well. But what's interesting is there's also lots of other places that don't have any sports on them currently, at least not yet. For instance, there is a giant park in the middle, which just might be a park that you can visit, but there seems to be three more areas that aren't used yet. We know golf is coming, but none of these really resemble a golf course, and the area is just not big enough to have a golf course. One is kind of a circle, kind of grassy roof dome. I don't even know what that could be. The other one is on the dock area, so maybe some type of water sport, and there's something else to the far right, which could be an extension of the island having the golf course, but my guess is the golf course or the extra sports added will be added within a new island around this one. For bowling, this time you can actually choose to bowl at the same time as your friends. You don't have to wait in line for everybody to go and do their turn. I guess everybody has their own individual lane, and I would guess if you're all playing on the same system, it would be in different split screens. Now I'm sure there's also going to be an option that allows you to bowl like normal where everybody has turns, and I think that definitely needs to still be an option because that still does add the depth and the fun that the game used to have. There are many new ways that you can actually play this new soccer game, and it comes in some updates later on down the road. Now, the trailer didn't quite tell you a lot about the leg strap for your Joy-Con, so this is strictly used for the shootout mode. You can't currently use this for the actual game mode when it actually drops. Later this summer, there will be a free update that actually allows you to use the accessory while you play the actual soccer game as well. So you will probably be able to combine two Joy-Con, one in your hand and one on your leg, to have a full soccer experience, which is a lot of fun. It completely engages you into the game in both ways. Now it does look like there's going to be more sports coming on the way, and free updates, which would be really cool. Now, Wii Sports Resort had 12 games in total and right now we only have six and seven including golf golf will be coming to the game in a free update in the fall so that makes me think that there's definitely going to be more games coming probably in the winter and the spring next year and probably even all the seasons and once again just like the world map that we saw there's even more evidence of water sports being available this time as once again we see some more canoes on this golf course area and in the bowling area we actually see some rafts and a shop in the back with some tents and some oars probably for more canoes so it really does look like there's going to be some water sports and upon a closer look it looks like there might be some air sports returning again as well as we had the airplane game which was tons of fun and resembled pilot wings we could see some gliders in the store and lots of hot air balloons in the sky which could resemble something coming with a sky sport of some sorts maybe planes or gliders or something like that now lots of people were getting upset and angry that the Miis weren't returning and that we had these new characters but they are in fact coming back thanks to Takahashi and Koizuma's gameplay we've seen that they both had their own Miis play against the computer and yes you can pretty much have your own me they have a new body and form of course and they match the other characters in the game meaning you don't have your floating spherical hands anymore but this time you have actual real hands which is fine I mean it looks normal this is definitely how it should have been but these look really good anyway so yes you can have your me's no worries there. You can team up with a buddy locally and go online. Yes, you and your friend can compete against other players around the world together on one console, which is actually a lot of fun and sounds pretty cool. As you and your team gets better, so will the competition, making it a lot more tough for you as well. You will be able to dress up and customize your avatar, and it looks like it's more than just clothes as well. On the official website, it says you can earn points and earn in-game rewards like outfits, sports accessories, gear, and much more for your avatar. So it looks like we'll be able to get different things, probably like your own version of a tennis racket. And I definitely imagine you would be able to have your own customizable bowling ball and golf club set as well. Looking back at that world map once again at the top right,
right you can see your icon along with a zero out of a hundred for some type of present and it seems like once you collect enough points you can fill up that bar and get yourself a nice present probably giving you equipment or new gear and it also looks like we'll be buying equipment from a shop as it says on the online website that new equipment and gear will change each week so you will probably get updated just like Splatoon where every new week there's a new outfit or something for you to pick out and buy with your points. And last but not least, so Nintendo looks like they really want us to play this beta. They kept mentioning it over and over and over again in order to make sure that the online is good. But it says on the official site, and they didn't put big emphasis on this, but you have to register to play the online test. Unlike the other games where you just downloaded the demo and waited for the time slots to start. You have to register on February 15th at 5 p.m. Pacific for the Nintendo Switch Sports to play at all. And this isn't even the day you can play. The days are February 18th, the 19th, and the 20th, and the times are on the screen right there. But remember, you have to actually register to play this game. So make sure you write yourself a memo, get ready. I don't know if the slots are going to fill up where people can't play it um, after a certain amount of slots. So make sure that you're ready at 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern. And I guess I'll also throw in there, too, that the game is only 40 bucks. But let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this. Are you guys excited to play Nintendo Switch Sports? Are you excited to see the sports genre come back for Nintendo? Let me know in the comments down below what you think. Is there any sports that you would like to see added to this? Are there any updates that you think are going to come to this? Any more besides golf? Let me know in the comments down below. And thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed today's video, please make sure you leave a like and subscribe to stay up to date on all things Nintendo Switch Sports and Nintendo in general. And I'll see you all on the next one. See you guys.